So why is it such a big deal, right? You know, is, is the difference between them really that substantial? And it turns out that it is. So let's look at a simple example. Uh, so this is not really... A, so what I'm trying to do here is suppose you have a collection of a million documents, right? And what I want to do is I want to compute pairwise similarities or distances between all of these documents. I don't know why I'm doing it. Maybe I suspect that I have some duplicates in this collection, or maybe I want to see things that are uh, very closely related. Maybe these are, uh, I don't know, maybe this is source code from TTS Courseworks, and I want to see if, if the source code for one student is very close to source code for another student. And somehow I managed to do it through Um Okay, so I'm doing pairwise similarities, right? million documents, I, I'm assuming a vocabulary of a million distinct terms, and I'm assuming on average about a thousand terms per document. So how many operations, how costly is it to do it in the ways that we know how to do it, right? So the simplest way, brute force, you take every document and compare it to every other document the way you did in coursework one, right? So what would it look like? For each query document, and I have a million of them, for each potential document that could match, and again, I have a million of them, compute the similarity, right? And the similarity, I'm assuming that I'm doing it efficiently, so that means I'm using linear merge, so that would take me on the order of uh, a thousand operations, right? Because both documents are a uh, thousand words long on average, so a comparison is gonna take two, uh, two, uh, a thousand operations. So overall, the complexity is gonna be 10 to the 15. It's 10 to the 6th times 10 to the 6th times 10 to the 3rd, right? Obvious. So, now this is without an index. This is just doing all pairwise comparisons. So what if you did use an index? Uh, let's take doc at a time strategy, right? So, what are we going to do in doc at a time? We're going to take every query document, and we have a million of them, and then we're going to run that document as a query against the index. And I'm not counting the cost of producing the index because it's minuscule compared to the similarities that we're doing. Right. So we have the index uh, pre-built. Um, so how costly is it to execute one query? Well, so what does the execution involve? This query, it has a thousand words in it, right? So what we need to do is we need to merge a thousand inverted lists, right? We have one per each term in that document, and we need to merge them all. So how expensive is it to merge them? Well, for that, we need to know how big the lists are. Right? So how big are they? Um, we don't actually know how big they are, but we can compute the average. Right? So what is the average? How do we compute the average length of an inverted list? Right? So uh, it seems that we don't have enough information, but actually we do. Right? We have a million documents, right? And each document contains a thousand distinct terms. So the entire matrix contains 10 to the ninth non-empty cells, right? Because we have a thousand documents, a thousand non-empty entries per document, which means that the ro each row of the matrix contains a thousand entries, which which means that the entire matrix contains 10 to the 9 non-empty uh, non cells. And what, is the, what we need to compute is the average length of an inverted list. And what is that? Inverted list is a column in that matrix. Right? So we're looking for an average number of non-zero entries per column. So the way we can get that is we can take the the number of non-zero entries in the entire matrix and divided by the number of columns, right? 10 to the 9 is the number of non-zero entries in the entire matrix, and 10 to the 6 is the number of columns, because that's our vocabulary size. So what we know that on average, each column is going to have a thousand non-empty entries, okay? So that is going to be the average length of our inverted list. So we need to merge a thousand inverted lists and all the average length of them is going to be a thousand terms. So the total number of posts that we need to process for a given document is uh, 10 to the third squared, which is a million, right? A million posts for each, <clears throat> for each uh, query. So, um, 
Yes. Okay. So uh, if we're doing it efficiently, uh, we're using uh, we're using the min heap or the priority queue to do that, and the cost of that we have a thousand lists with a million total elements. So that's going to be on the order of ten to the seventh, the cost of that, right? So ten to the sixth stays outside, and then we have log two of uh, of k, which is a thousand in our case. So uh, that's going to be the cost, and uh, that is the cost of finding the matches, right? Now the next step is once we found the matches, we actually have to compute the similarity for all the damn things, right? So um, because we don't know what our similarity function is now, um, and in general that could be different numbers because uh, when we're computing similarities, uh, they will be in terms of a certain number of posts that match between the query and the document. And of course we don't know how many posts are going to match for each one of them, uh, but, but we know that overall there can't be too many of them, right? So over all of those matches, we know that we will have at most a million matches, and each match could contain up to a thousand, uh, up to a thousand uh, terms in the overlap, but they, but they cannot all contain a thousand. In fact, the total number of posts in the matches has to be only a million, because that's the total number of posts in our inverted list. So the, so the cost of computing the similarities should actually be on the order of a million, and that's smaller than, to, than 10 to the 7 for the merge, so we can ignore that factor uh, entirely. Right. So overall, what do we get? We have, for, uh, we have a million queries, and each query is going to have 10 to the 7th plus on the order of 10 to the 6th. So 10 to the 6th times 10 to the 7th, that's 10 to the 13th. Uh, one thing to note there is uh, you do have um, a constant appearing there, and that is a constant that comes out of the heap merge. Because right? heap merge, uh, maintaining a heap has a certain constant. Usually you ignore those constants when you analyze the complexity, uh, but those constants can bite because um, you know, that, that constant could actually be a substantial number. Um, okay, so that's what you would get for document at a time. Now what, uh, what do you get for term at a time? Term at a time, again, uh, we, we're going to run each document as a query, so we have a million queries. For each one of those queries, we're going to iterate over all the terms, and each query contains a thousand terms, right? Because you have a thousand terms per document. Um, and then for each document in the inverted list, you're going to update the scores. So again, uh, how long is an inverted list? We computed that there. An inverted list is going to be on the order of a thousand terms, right? So that's how many operations we're going to do. And then after we do that, we have to extract the results set which, again, we have a million documents, so that's going to take on the order of a million um, operations. So we have a million queries, and then 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 3, that's a million plus a million. So the overall complexity is 10 to the 6 times 10, 10 to the 6, so you are dealing at uh, 10 to the 12th overall complexity. Okay. Um, by the way, uh, these numbers are uh, very substantial, right? As your, uh, as your collection is going to keep growing, uh, the, the difference between them uh, is going gonna, is gonna to get larger uh, and larger. So uh, what you can expect is you can expect a well-implemented term at the time to be you know, maybe a thousand times faster than, than your brute force approach. <coughs>